Hi everybody, this is Kent from Man About Tools, and today we're going to review the Bosch 7 Amp Barrel Grip Jigsaw. Now I bought this jigsaw specifically for this project. I'm building a timber frame woodshed and I have some beams and rafters with some tight curves I want to cut in the ends of. I've got some long blades also made by Bosch and we're going to try this out. Yeah, you get an extra blade, shoe adapter, and a non-stick plate that goes on the bottom. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Certainly beefy and heavy. What I'm most interested in this particular uh, jigsaw is this guide right here to keep the blade from moving around very much. That looks like to open and close it. Got an adjustment here for the angle of the plate. It looks like a good long cord on it. On and off button here. All right, looks good and heavy. It has four selectable orbital settings. A simple on and off switch and an air blower switch. When on, it blows air to keep the cutting line clear of chips. The metal footplate is adjustable with a hex head screw that's conveniently stored inside the footplate. The variable speed dial has six settings from 500 strokes per minute to 3100. I set mine to position 6, 3100 strokes per minute and it worked well. I believe this higher setting keeps the motor cooler as the internal fan speed is also higher. The lever allows insertion of T-shank blades without using a tool. and it ejects the blades when open so you don't have to touch them when they're hot. It has a plastic overshoe to protect finer surfaces. And an anti-splinter insert that attaches to the footplate. For my work on these outdoor structures, I didn't use those accessories. For this review, I'll be using a 6-inch blade, the T744D3, and a 9-inch blade, the T1044DP. See the links for these in the description below. The beams I needed to cut were 6x6 red cedar with a quarter ellipse profile. I made a plywood pattern and traced it onto both sides of each end. That way I could check the accuracy of my cut. I've got it on recip mode uh, one and I've got the nine inch blade also by Bosch. We're going to come in this direction first see how far we can get into the corner we may have to come back the other direction. I've marked it on both sides so we're going to try to cut a full six inch uh, thick beam here for this end profile. Okay, put blades in place. I decided to start from the end and work my way in and try to keep to the line as best I could. I like the barrel grip on this jigsaw design as it allows my hand to be lower and closer to the workpiece I'm cutting. It feels more stable and natural to me and I think gives me better control and accuracy. These 9 inch blades are fairly wide and thick so I wasn't sure if I could cut this elliptical curve as the radius decreased and became sharper at the end of the cut. The vibration moved the beam on the sawhorses so I had to stop and weigh them down. I just didn't have enough weight on the material. 
I found the level of vibration acceptable as I was pushing the saw pretty hard with a long, heavy blade through very thick material. I used orbital setting number one for what I was cutting, and it worked well and gave me a very smooth cut. I was very happy with the result, and I only had a small degree of blade wander. Before I posted this review, I used this jigsaw for a full summer of projects. I like the weight, power, and grip of this tool, and I'd recommend it to anyone. On these beams for our garden pavilion, I turned too sharply and caused the blade to bind briefly. It smoked and burned the wood. It wasn't too bad, so I just sanded out the char marks. Many times I'd trace the curve on both sides of the beam to see how close I was getting to vertical. When I went slow and jiggled back and forth, I'd get a truer cut. One other technique is to make a shallow cut with a handsaw in the end of the beam to start the jigsaw blade in. This allows you to at least start with a 90 degree cut, even if there's some wander as you go along. I tried to allow the saw to cool after each deep cut as it got quite hot under such a load. The guide roller seemed to work well at keeping the blade on track. It has worked very well at cutting curves in beams and rafters with very little blade wander. I'd say that all jigsaws have this issue, but this Bosch model has a minimal amount and certainly good enough for many of my outdoor projects. i found that you can get better accuracy by going slow and steady and slightly jiggling the saw from side to side as you go along. This will help prevent excessive pressure on one side of the blade. I like having this jigsaw handy to finish bird's mouth cuts in rafters. I start with the circular saw, then finish with the jigsaw. I used it for just about every project with a roof. All in all, I had great success with this tool and it worked very well for me and I feel completely comfortable recommending it. I'd be happy to hear your thoughts on this saw or jigsaws in general. Please post a comment below. This is Ken from Man About Tools. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see on our channel, then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.